What's up fellow truth seekers? My name is Ryan and today we're going to be doing a review for the newest book of Chuck Klosterman. A man who looks like what I imagine every man who lives in Brooklyn looks like. The book is called But What If We're Wrong? It asks the question, what if 500 years from now people look back at our beliefs and ideas and think we're completely irrational and misguided, such as our ideas on the Constitution or even our ideas on gravity? In the same way now, we look back at people 500 years ago and think they were completely irrational. By the way, in case you were wondering, no, I did not put the picture of the book cover upside down. That's actually the way it looks. Because, get it, what if we're not supposed to read words right side up? <laughs> While the book certainly has a very interesting premise, the book honestly felt like nothing more than a slightly more intellectually stimulating conversation with a man who is stoned out of his mind. Hey, Ryan, can I ask you something? Uh, yeah, sure, dude. What's up? Okay, okay, what if things we thought today turned out to be completely wrong in the future. Hmm, I mean, it's definitely possible. I mean, what are some examples that you were thinking of? I mean, I can't really make any predictions about the future because whenever people have made predictions about the future, they were generally wrong, which means I can't say anything about the future because I'll probably be wrong. I call it Klosterman's Razor. Um, okay. Okay, what if artists and authors we don't really like today gain a lot more notoriety later? I mean, I'll give you an example. Herman Melville's Moby Dick wasn't really that popular when he died, but it got more popular afterwards because society's tastes changed. Hmm, that is interesting. I mean, I guess to answer that question, we would have to know what society's tastes are probably going to be like in the future, and what author today that isn't getting noticed probably reflects that. Do you have any ideas? No, because I told you, Ryan. You can't actually predict the future. I'm just asking the question, what if? What's the point, then, of talking about what people in the future might believe if we can't even imagine what that future might look like? Look, look, look. All I'm saying is what if? Uh, I mean, even in things like science, we might think of things like gravity in a completely different way. I mean, did you know that before Isaac Newton's theory of gravity, we used to believe in Aristotle's theory that objects just had a desire to go to the ground? I mean, while it's certainly true that we'll probably continue to make scientific discoveries, I think the idea that we might look back at Isaac Newton's theory on gravity in the same way that we look back at Aristotle's theory that objects just had a desire to go to the ground is flawed. I mean, the one thing that separates scientific discoveries from the way we used to make sense of the world is that science can verifiably predict things, while the way we used to make sense of the world before cannot. For instance, Newton's laws were able to predict where Neptune was in the night sky before we even ever discovered it. Aristotle's theory that objects just have a desire to go to the ground couldn't have helped us with that one. Newton's laws tell us how fast an object will accelerate to the Earth before anyone ever needs to drop the object. While our understanding of gravity might change in the future, our understanding of gravity's actual laws and how they affect mass probably won't. To ask if 500 years from now will we still believe in Newton's laws of gravity is like asking if 500 years from now will we still believe that 2 plus 2 equals 4, or if you touch a hot stove it'll burn the shit out of you. Some things just remain constant. Okay, I get it. But what if even that's wrong? It's not. Okay, I'm gonna say something a little bit crazy. Just promise you won't judge me. Given the things you've already said, I'm probably gonna judge you. Okay, what if we're living in a computer simulation created by someone else? You have got to be kidding me, right? No, I mean, Brian Greene said that there's like 20 constants in the universe, such as the mass of an electron. What if someone put those in as parameters in their computer simulation and we're just living in it? Think about it. Okay, well I'm sure you think you're being thought-provoking right now, you're actually not. This idea is as old as civilization itself. The only nuance you made was that you replaced the word God with computer simulation. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that if computers somehow predated religion, religion would look a lot like what you just described. Okay, what about conspiracy theories? Did you know there's a conspiracy theory that 300 years of human history didn't actually happen and we're living in 1716 right now? 
I actually couldn't care less at this point. I mean, but what if, what if it's true? I mean, despite the mountain of evidence that showed that it's probably not true, there's no definitive evidence that shows that it's completely not true. Oh my god, there isn't any evidence that a lot of things don't exist. For instance, no one has yet proven that leprechauns or pink unicorns definitively don't exist. I mean, we can play this game until the cows come home, but for the sake of pragmatism, human beings should probably spend most of their energy on things that have already been proven true or things that could be proven true. Instead of trying to disprove every single one of your half-assed ideas that comes to your head. Look, all I'm saying is, don't you dare say it, is no. What if? Uh, I want to beat you so bad. I sort of feel like this book is like the Purge movie series, an awesome premise that could be used to explore various different aspects of our culture and society is instead wasted on what amounts to be a two hour gore fest, or in the case of this book, just 263 pages of mental masturbation. This book gets three stars out of five. It just kind of felt annoying and repetitive at points and just didn't live up to the expectations that I had for it. And I thought the book could have been so much more than it was. So anyways, guys, that's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe and tune in next time for more book reviews with Ryan's Rants.